Hi guys, and thanks for joining me today. This is Mike with Designs by M. And yesterday I showed you the unboxing and how I use the foil quill in the Cricut Explorer machine. So today I will be showing you how I created this card in the Silhouette Cameo. So I will be showing you design space and then how this works in the Cameo machine. Uh, this is an SVG file that I sell in my Etsy shop, so I will leave links in the description box below. If you want to see the unboxing video as well as the Cricut Explorer tutorial, go ahead and click the link. I will have cards that should be popping up on the screen now as well as in the description box. And I also tried a competitor foil, one of those other heat transfer foils that are supposed to work with the laminator and you're going to have to stay tuned to see how that worked. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to start off with the computer today and we're going to get our design ready to go. Now, this is a file that I sell on Etsy as well. So I will leave a link in the description box below, and it's just this graphic. I went ahead and I created a five, should be a five by 10. So let's change this width to five. So a five by 10 with a score line in the middle, when folded, will make a five by five card. Super easy. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. And something a little bit different than when I showed you yesterday with Design Space is when I clicked on Draw, all you could see is the outline. Well, it's going to be a little bit different in Silhouette Studio. I am using Designer Edition or above. Mine happens to be business, but this, is, this will work in Designer Edition or above. And you will need Designer Edition to be able to use SVGs and the Sketch, the sketch uh, feature here. So if I click Send you will see that what is highlighted will in essence either be cut or in this instance uh, be foiled. So, and we wanna fill this in. So we're gonna go back to design and I'm gonna go over the right hand side here and there's this little squiggly line. It's one, two, three, four, five, six from the bottom. And you get this little window that comes up. And I'm actually going to click this hash mark here and you'll see that everything turns into these little hash marks, which is kind of cool, right? So let's zoom out. And if I was to click send, you will see that all of this would now have foil on it, which is really cool. But now we need to get it to fit into this card. So go back to design and we are going to i'm going to hold the shift key down and i'm going to drag that down until it fits right about that now i'm going to use the zoom in tool to zoom into this and that really doesn't look good to me now that we've shrunk that down so i'm going to go over here to my spacing and i'm going to just adjust that down a little bit until it fills in again and that looks pretty cool to me, okay? So now I'm ready to go ahead and foil and cut this out. And I'm gonna do two different steps and I'm gonna show you on the computer and then the demonstration at the machine. Now the first thing that I wanna do is to quill the design or foil the design. So, and I'm going on my machine on the left hand side in the red, as you will see when I get to the machine, that I can use the auto blade, which has a little red circle. And tool number two is blue, and that's where I'm going to put my foil quill. Well, since I want to foil first, I'm going to highlight my card, and I'm going to turn this to no cut. So nothing will happen to the card base. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the design because I don't want tool one to cut my design. No cut. I'm going to go down to tool two. And the first thing I'm going to do is change this to sketch. And sketch. Okay. And then I'm going to change my cardstock 
It says cardstock printable adhesive. I'm just using regular cardstock today, so I'm going to do plain cardstock. And I'm pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click send and then I will meet you back at the computer. When this is done doing the foiling, I will click on this. I will change this to no cut. Then I will go ahead and click on the card and then come up to tool one and click cut. And at that point, I will hit send again and then the card base will cut. Now that will give me an opportunity to remove the foil, so it'll pause after it's done foiling. So let me go ahead and meet you over there, and I'll be right back. All right, so now I am at my machine, and for my machine, um, for the silhouette, you use the A adapter. So I'm going to go ahead and screw that on, like so. And I will go ahead and place that, like I said, this one's blue, this one's red. We're going to do the blue one. Put that in there. Make sure that's snapped shut. And we're going to go ahead. And now I have my little phone charger. This is just a little portable charger. We will plug that in and see if we get power. I've got to turn it on. There we go. There is power. Lay that there. And now I'm going to go ahead and tape on my foil. Now in Silhouette, when you're in the, the main screen, it will give you the, uh, the marks. Unlike Design Space, where it moves things around on the final mat, wherever you leave your design in Silhouette is where it's going to cut, and I think mine will look good approximately there. And so, and today I'm also using a different foil. And I'll show you the foil that I'm using. I am using this brand just to see if it will work. So I'm well, kind of curious to see. I don't know. I haven't seen anybody use that before, so I'm not sure. But curious to find out. So let's tape this down. And I'm kind of not even taping it down taut like you're supposed to. There we go. So it is on there. And now I'm going to go ahead and click. I forgot I was supposed to put this little guy down in here. And I guess there's like a cutting strip under here. Maybe it protects that. I don't know. So. All right. So let's remove this little guy. And we're going to load our project. Yes, I do use Cricut mats with my silhouette. Just makes it much easier to buy one set of mats than to buy two different ones. And I'll have to do a separate tutorial, but there are little guide marks that I figured out and I know where to place things. All right, so I've gone ahead and loaded my project. And I'm at the computer and I'm going to go ahead and click send. All right, so now that it, it is done, I'm going to go ahead and I am not going to unload my project. So, but what I am going to do is turn off the battery charger and I'm going to remove the quill. And I'm going to remove the foil. Now I could already tell that I didn't have this far enough to the right, but this is my second time foiling. This is user error. So make sure you uh, take a little extra time and make sure your foil is where it needs to be. And that didn't work. So this foil did not work. So I am going to unload it and I'm going to put their foil on there and I will be right back.
All right, so it is done. Again, I am not going to take off or take this out of the machine, but the other foil did not foil. Let's see. Oh yeah, totally worked this time. So let's try to take this out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take out the quill. And then I'm gonna go ahead and send this to cut using the auto blade. All right, it is done. Let me go ahead and unload everything, resituate my camera, and we will continue. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've taken that out of the machine. And wow, I love the way this came out. So using the other brand of foil did not work, but using the We Are Memory Keepers foil worked beautifully. So that is really shiny. And I'm going to go online now and see where else or what other colors that they have. And then all I need to do to finish my card off is fold it at the score mark. And I use a bone folder just to crease it. And I got my cute little card. So another thing that I heard was somebody talking about what type of portable chargers can you use. Um, this is really old. I don't even know where I got it. It's called New Trent. Um, the other one I was using yesterday on the Cricut tutorial was just a phone charger that I purchased at Disneyland of all places. And they have these little kiosks and when your battery is dead, you just drop it in and exchange it for a full one. And they have services all over the place, not just Disneyland where you can do that. So I've used this one. I've used the other one. I think that one's called Fuel Rod and um, they both worked really well to power the foil quill. Um, this, I believe, is just washi tape, so I'm not being too conservative with it. Um, well, I have hundreds of rolls of washi tape that I'm gonna be able to use this with, but this is reusable, and I have, if I could show you my desk, I have at the edges little sticky tape everywhere that I use for all sorts of things. <laughs> but, wow, that came out really cool super quick and super easy and i'm really loving this this is only my second card um, the first card not only did that foil not work that was from deco foil so i do not recommend you using that foil i do recommend you using the we are memory keepers foil but i had the um the foil too far to the left so a little bit of it got cut off but when i went ahead and i saw little dents and outlines of it so i knew where to put my uh, foil this time but i think with practice i will get better and better at placing my foil and i can't wait to be doing more tutorials for you guys in the future all right guys um, if you haven't already please make sure you rate comment and subscribe that helps youtube know that you guys like my videos and they actually will show it to more uh, more youtube users so please make sure you rate comment and subscribe i really appreciate it and until next time, bye.